Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwulu has restated his administration's commitment to partnering the private sector in mitigating the impact of climate change as well as encouraging adaptation and development of sustainable bonds. Sonwulu stated this at the opening ceremony of the 19th Lagos International Climate Change Summit held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun tells us more in this report. Clear evidence is that the climate is changing. Flows, drought, heat waves, and forest fires all become more extreme in recent years. In his new flagship report on climate change, the United Nations indicates that harmful carbon emissions from 2010 to 2019 have never been higher in human history. The body warned that it is a proof that the world is on a fast track to disaster, even as scientists argued that it is now or never to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees. No wonder. The ninth climate change summit organized by the Lagos State Government had experts locking horns in this hall, tinkering on the best way forward. The lead speaker, Professor Chukumiriji Okereke, strongly holds that transformative climate action could be remedial. What do we mean by transformative climate action? Four components. Number one, it has to be large scale, it has to be bold, it has to be ambitious. Number two, it has to change entire system as opposed to just being tokenistic and marginal. Number three, it has to address the root causes of vulnerability. And number four, uh, it has to be participatory. It is not the case that one action uh, uh, is transformative all across the board. Whether you're talking about uh, infrastructural resilience building, integrated coastal zone management via our system, energy efficiency measures, green uh, uh, building or green city design. It is about the scale and the tackling of the root causes and the participatory nature of it that makes it transformative. In his keynote address, Governor Sawunlu, represented by his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, said Lagos State is dealing with climate change issues, thinking globally and acting locally. He urged Lagosians to join hands to build Lagos of their dreams and resilient future. The mainstreaming and integration of climate action into our growth, strategies, investment, and institutional structure is a prerequisite and foundation for the mobilization of public and private sector financing to achieve net zero. It is therefore our view in Lagos that without the right structural foundations, financing will fail to achieve the desired goals. As we proceed from this opening ceremony into the summit proper, it is my sincere hope and belief that the deliberation will focus on ensuring that everything we do is homegrown and tailor-made for our local context, while of course not losing sight of global best practices. That is, we must think globally, but we must act locally. Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Tunji Belu, described the summit as an affirmative action in support of the role of the private sector in mitigating the effects of climate change and economic growth in Lagos. The Climate Action Plan has opened a new frontier of funding opportunities for adaptation projects in the state. It may interest you to know that the state government, through the Ministry of the Environment and Water Resources, has signed up up to 15 million pounds UK Climate Action Implementation Program which will support cities to accelerate implementation from their climate action plans. In a short while, Lagos will be benefiting from these funds in the energy and waste sectors. In their goodwill messages, special guests at the event said the impact of climate change is not only environmental, but also social, economical, among others. They also said it was time to partner to launch the Lagos Green Funds to combat climate change, implementing policies, as well as improving emergency response. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.